Hi, my name is Joelle Buchakra, and I'm a fourth year student at Ryerson studying fashion design. And my name is Arushi Chopra. I'm also in fourth year studying fashion design, and I'm um, excited to talk to you guys today. For my final collection, um, I was really inspired by my home country, Lebanon. And after the drastic events of the explosion that happened in August of 2020, um, I really wanted to focus on that theme and kind of create something beautiful from that because there was a lot of destruction, corruption within uh, Lebanon that happened during this time. So I really wanted to incorporate my collection as a sort of movement to the revolution in Lebanon and focus on uh, those aspects in the dresses. My collection focuses on modernizing Indian fashion with a focus on gender expression and sustainability. So I'm creating, like everyone else, a five look collection. And um, I was really inspired by the absence, I guess, of these themes, sustainability and gender expression, which are so huge in fashion right now. They're not really present when we speak about cultural fashion anyway. And I'm Indian, so I, I've been researching um, Indian fashion and it's been something that has been on my mind for a while. So this just kind of expands on that research in a more um, something, you know, to speak to the conversation that's happening in fashion right now. Um, personally, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do after I graduate, um, but I do know that I want to sort of research um, women's wear brands and companies that I want to work with that co that kind of correspond to the values that I have as well. So I do think that sustainability is something that's very important. So looking at that as well as like companies that focus on those things as well. And I do want to look at um, evening wear companies as well, just to um, maybe work with them and apply there. So I definitely want to start working, but um, yeah, so I just want to apply to jobs basically. So I am looking at this collection really as kind of a jumping off point for the brand that I foresee myself running in the future. So um, yeah, as I said before, Indian fashion is something that I've been looking more and more into as I've aged as a designer. So I really want that to be kind of the roots of a brand that I'm hoping to launch soon. Um, I'm hoping that after this collection, I can really, you know, gain some kind of um, foresight about what I want my brand to look like. And um, focusing on sustainability and gender expression, it's a genderless collection. So I think genderless fashion is huge right now. I'd love to jump into that with my brand. But yeah, so mostly I think after I graduate, I just want to start slowly and um, start my own brand and of course work for other companies as well. I think it's super important to learn about the indus industry through what other people are doing as well. Um, working for a small business would be awesome. Uh, you learn so much when you're part of a small business, so that would be great. There are so many great brands in Toronto that I'd love to work for. So yeah, just like Joelle, I'm going to be applying for um, everything that interests me after this and hopefully I can just we can just all bloom and there's going to be a place for all of us. So um, for aspiring designers, people who are thinking of getting into studying fashion, I would say that if you think that you can do it and you really enjoy doing it, just go for it. Don't like think that you can't do it because in the beginning, you really think that you don't know too much. But once you get started and you have these really um, successful mentors and uh, people to inspire you. So I feel like everyone can sort of creatively find their own vision and and be, be designers. For aspiring designers, um, I would say just be open to learning about all different um, aspects of the industry. Uh, the industry in Toronto itself is pretty small, but there are still so many parts of it. And um, I think especially if you're in the program, just take advantage of your internship hours and just go out there and like work for companies you love yeah. um, and just try to learn as much as you can. Because even like going back to, you know, first year and like what I can speak to about uh, what I can say to my first year self, mm -hmm. I wouldn't have imagined myself um, being interested in things that I'm interested in now. So like sustainability even and like genderless fashion, I wouldn't have known that, you know, like four years ago I would 
be so interested in those topics. So you have to be open and just explore mm -hmm. everything. And that's the only way you'll really find the thing that you like. And you'll have so many skills by the end of it. You'll be more well-rounded. So definitely just open your mind and like learn as much as you can.